Welcome! In this video, we demonstrate how a Rodon Schwartz vector signal generator can be automatically configured for an LTE Release 8 test case using LTE baseband models developed on Synopsys SPW or System Studio. To test the device or component designed for an LTE system using a Rodon Schwartz vector signal generator, parameters on this instrument need to be configured for the given test. In a typical test case, there are about 60 to 70 parameters that need to be set and the LTE standard defines more than 1000 tests that need to be run for a particular device. Additionally, to have an efficient design flow, it is important to have consistency between the algorithm design phase and hardware testing phase, so that the same parameter settings used for the simulation of algorithms are used by the tester as well. So what are the values of automatic configuration from SPW and System Studio? One is to reduce test equipment setup time. Two is to ensure consistency between the parameters used during the simulation and testing. Three is that it allows for the regression scripts developed during simulation time to be used during the testing phase and four is to prevent losing multiple days of system integration caused by configuration errors. Here you see the setup used for automatic configuration of a Rodon Schwartz SMU200 vector signal generator using the LTE library on Synopsys SPW. This is the top view of an end-to-end -end baseband model of an LTE Release 8 system on SPW. This model includes implementation of the transmitter per definition in standard, channel model, and an ideal receiver. This model is highly modular and configurable by parameters. On the upper right hand corner, you see a block that is used to configure the Rodon Schwartz signal generator with the parameter settings used for the given simulation. Here you see a list of parameters that are configured on the Rodon Schwartz signal generator by this block. Parameters such as transport block size, number of resource blocks, modulation type, and so forth. The computer running SPW is connected to the Rodon Schwartz signal generator using a TCP IP connection. Here you see the Rodon Schwartz SMU200 signal generator and its user interface. The generator can be configured to generate baseband signals of arbitrary forms as well as the ones based on a number of different communication standards such as LTE. Channel fading and noise may be added and the baseband signal can then be converted to an RF signal. Here we set the SMU to generate an LTE release 8 signal. As you can see on this screen, there are a number of parameters that need to be set for such a signal, for every subframe of an LTE signal frame. This can be a tedious task and subject to errors. In this example, we set the number of RBs to 20 and the modulation to 16 QAM, among other parameters. As the simulation is run, you can see how these parameters are set automatically from SPW to the same settings used in the baseband models. This setup ensures quick and error-free configuration of the test instrument as well as consistency between parameter settings used during simulation and test phases. Thank you for your attention.